In today's video, we're gonna continue our introduction to probability with a few worked examples. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here's our question. A tire manufacturer recently announced a recall because 2% of its tires are defective. If you just bought a new set of four tires from this manufacturer, what is the probability that at least one of the new tires is defective? Okay, so let's start this question just by writing down what we know. So the probability that the tire is defective is equal to 0 0.02. How do we know this? Well, we're told that 2% of the tires are defective. We also know that defective and not defective are complementary events, meaning that your tires are either good or they're not. They're defective or they're not, so we can solve for the probability that the tire is not defective, which is equal to one minus the probability that it is defective. So in this case, it's one minus 0 0.02, which gives us 0 0.98. Okay, so now that we've written down what we've been given in the question, let's focus on what the question is asking us. The question is asking us, what is the probability that at least one of our new tires is defective? Okay, so what does that rule out if we're looking for the probability that at least one is defective? Then we're, look, we're ruling out the probability that four tires are without defect. Okay, so how do we calculate that? Well, that would be the probability of not defective to the power of four, right? Assuming that being defective and not defective are independent events. Knowing that one tire is defective doesn't increase the probability that your other tires are defective. You just got a random set of bad tires, so is equal to 0 0.98 to the power of 4, which is equal to 0 0.9223. Okay, so we're making progress on this question, but the question is asking us what is the probability that we have at least one tire greater than or equal to one tire with a defect? Well, that's a complement of four tires without defect, so one minus the probability of four without defect. Whoops. Which is equal to one minus 0 0.9223, which is also equal to 0 0.0777. Okay, so there's our answer. What is the probability that at least one of our new tires is defective? Well, the probability of greater than or one tire with a defect is equal to one minus the probability of four tires without defect, which gives us a probability of 0 0.0777. Okay, let's go to a different question. For a sales promotion, the manufacturer places winning symbols under the caps of 10% of all Pepsi bottles selected at random. If you buy a six pack, of Pepsi, what is the probability that you'll win something? So let's just start this question off just like other questions by writing what is, what are we given in the question? So we're given the probability that you win and that probability is equal to 0 0.10, right? 10% of all Pepsi bottles uh, selected at random win, which means that we know the probability of a not win is equal to one minus the probability that you win which is equal to one minus 0 0.10, which is equal to 0 0.90. Okay. The question is saying that we have bought a six pack of Pepsi and we wanna know the probability that we win something. Okay, so whether we win on all six bottles or just one of the bottles, we're just interested in knowing, did we win something? So let's look at the event where we won nothing. So the probability of six non-winners is equal to the probability of not win to the power of six. We assume that these events are independent of each other because we're told that the bottles are selected at random, so we assume we have a random assortment of Pepsi bottles, meaning knowing that you won on one cap has no implication on your probability of winning on the second cap. So 
here we have the probability of not win being 0 0.9. Whoops. To the power of 6, which is also equal to 0 0.5314. So we're not done. The question is asking us, what is the probability of greater than or equal to one win? Well, from there, we can just take one minus the probability of six non-winners, which is equal to one minus 0 0.5314, which is also equal to 0 0.4. Six, eight, six. So there we have it, the probability that you have at least one winner when buying a six pack of Pepsi with a 10% chance of winning on each bottle is 0 0.4686. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.